Hey guys, GT Magic here, back here with another video. And today I'm showing you a really cool card trick and tutorial. It's, um, yeah, so, uh, here's the performance. Okay, so all I want you to do is just say stop when I lift my thumb down the pack. So stop right there. I'll, we'll cut to exactly where you cut. And we'll take out that card. I'm not going to look at it, I just want to make sure the camera sees it. Okay, and uh, we'll set it down right over there. Next, um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the cards and then have the spectator put their card wherever they want. Okay, let's say right over there. And um, and now all all we'll do is we'll flip over so we can just see what that card is. Okay. The card is a seven of hearts. All that's gonna happen, this card is gonna be the number, this card, seven. This card is gonna be the uh, the suit. Watch, the seven of hearts, the seven of hearts. Okay, uh, stay tuned and here's the tutorial. And I'm back and here's the tutorial. So what you need for this trick is um, three cards that so you need like a seven of hearts that's the card that's going to be picked and then the two cards that make up so seven uh number card and um a and yeah so what you want to do is whatever this card is what the number is what the number of the of the card is you want that to be on bottom and then what the what the suit of the card is you want it to be on top Okay, and then you want the seven of hearts to go on top of that. You can use any card you want, but in this case, I'm using the seven of hearts. All you want to do is just do any uh, force. So in the trick, I did a, uh, a riffle force. Okay. So you have to just say stop. You cut to that break, and you let them look at their card. Okay. Seven of hearts. Next, all you're going to do is what you can do is you can riffle down the deck, have them put their card anywhere they want or but I think it's more of a free choice is to just spread out the cards and have them put their card in okay next all you want to do is have the card out jugged and then go through the cards take this portion of the deck and flip you want to flip over this so here yeah. so you want to just Take this half, the top half of the deck, flip, flip it over, go under the card, and then take the this this part of the deck. Wait. Oh my bad. So you wanna you wanna hold it like this, this this half, flip it over, flip this half over. So go on top of the card, and then flip it over like this and put these cards on top. So now what you end up having is a sandwich of the top card as the seven of clubs, the bottom card as the ten of hearts, and um, that's it. But I'm going to show you some uh, other ways to perform this trick. So what you can do is have that set it back up. Ten of hearts goes on top seven of clubs on the bottom and then seven of hearts on top wait uh yep yeah. then we do a rough force so stop whatever cut to the card yeah, we'll just zoom out. and then they take their card what you can do is just if you have a blank card then you can, it's better that way, or you can just have someone pick a different card. Because this way, you, you can have them pick the, you can force the seven hearts to say, don't look at it just yet. Have them take any card, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then put it in. And then say, um, here, we'll, ju we'll just flip over that card so you can see the face of it. And then you could say, uh, where's the card? You can say this card's gonna represent um, your num the number of the card, 
This card is going to represent the suit. And then you flip over to reveal the seven of hearts. And then they look at their card. And it's the seven of hearts. Um, that's, that's another way to do the trick. Uh, what's, uh, I don't know if I know any other ways. I can show you another variation. So it looks, um, it, it looks a little, it looks like this. So, um, what you do is, it, it's a variation of a different trick, but you can have the two cards on top, seven of clubs and the s ten of hearts, right? Um, so you want to have it as, uh, it doesn't matter which way you have it, just remember how it's going to end up. So you force the seven hearts, right? They take their card, and then all you want to do is have this like this. And then you want to deal it into, if you're using a full deck, deal into 26 separate piles, 26 separate two separate piles of 26 cards. Otherwise, you still have the cards on top and just start dealing. Ask the spectator to say stop whenever they want. Let's say they say stop. Take the rest of the cards, set them over there. Ask them to choose one pile. Now this is a magician's force. What you can do is say, put your hands on both piles and then say lift up one. If they lift up this hand, say good, we'll get rid of those cards. Now we're left with these. If they lift up this hand, then you'll say, good, we have these, get rid of those. So it's, it's you're forcing the spectator because you want to end up with this pile because this is the pile that has the two cards. Okay? Now all you're going to do is deal this into two separate piles. So um, alternating. So one, two, three, four, all the way through all the cards. And now you have to remember what you ended up with. So now here I have the Ten of Hearts. You want to uh, start from the beginning. So uh, I don't remember. I think we started with the Seven of Clubs on top. So this card is the number card. I'm going to say this card is going to represent the number of your card, seven. This card is going to represent the, um, the suit of your card, hearts. And then they take a look at that card, and it's the Seven of Hearts. Um, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, all I, um, I just want to say that the channel is approaching 30 subscribers. So I thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, peace.